Hold this just like that. Okay. Okay. No, spiral the golf club. What up, dog? What's going on? So I'm here with the coolest cat around, Mr. Jackson Wary, one of our awesome coaches in Colorado. So what do you want to talk about today, dude? Talk about a little bit about kind of center mass, how we can control it other than just with our arms and hands, but also how these guys, our ribs, can do most of the work. All them ribs. Yeah. And when you're talking about center mass, because there's like, I can have the center mass of my pointer finger, center mm -hmm. mass of my bicep, ribs, like, what center mass are you talking about we're controlling? Center mass of the golfing club. Perfect. And those of you that are like, what the heck is that? I think the easiest way to, to really figure it out is just hold it like that. Yep. Kind of the balance point of the golf club. Every club. Right? So center of mass of the club. And you're saying how you motor it, instead of doing it mostly with the hands and arms, mm -hmm. you're talking about the ribs. Mm -hmm. What yeah. the heck are you saying? How do we move Crazy. it with the ribs? Well, get a little bit of action of kind of that rib sway, rotation. Sure. Um, this is the engine anyways. So the shapes that I make from here should be able to follow with the club. Beautiful. So your action, let me, I'll trade you okay. ball for a club. Okay. Go ahead and just show off that move of yours, man. Just okay. go ahead and hit one into the screen there for us. Yeah. Beautiful. Okay, so in your mind's eye, mm -hmm. when you're talking about the center of mass of the club, can you just show me where you're trying to motor it throughout the entirety of your swing? Yeah. So first thing kind of from setup, if I kind of break it down, I'm thinking ribs are going first. And as I'm spiraling up, uh -huh. I want this feeling like it gets vertical. Okay. Um, now, obviously, it's not going to look that way, right? Okay. For me. Sure. As I now start to transition, change direction, uh -huh. I just feel ribs are taking everything this way. Okay. Keeping everything there. Okay. I don't feel it as much dropping with the hands. Gotcha. It's just letting my body be the engine. Super and I just react to it. Yep. And when you're saying body being the engine, we're kind of talking about the ribs in that instance. Correct. Yes. Okay, cool. So trade you back. Okay. This is kind of a fun little exercise and uh, we'll throw uh, credit where credit should be due. This was taught to me by Luke Brackey. Okay, so one of our favorites, we just hold the uh, a medicine ball just like this, elbows are straight out. And what we're looking to do is move the axis of the elbows, meaning if I put a line through my lead elbow and a line through my trail elbow, we're looking to move this ball, we call, we call it spiraling the ball, in this fashion right here. So just show me that. Beautiful, now as Jackson's doing this, what's really cool, you'll see from a face-on perspective, Lead elbow lowers, then it'll heighten. Lower, heighten, and it's trading. Lead elbow, trail elbow. And this is an under pattern. It's very similar to our boat drill with the PVC right. pipe. But if you do that from down the line, go ahead and show the exact same thing. You'll see how this elbow in space, okay, go to neutral for me. Okay, now slow motion, start spiraling. See the direction that the elbow is moving in space. Now it goes down, back forward, now it'll rise, and then it comes back out again. Just keep doing the same exact exercise. So see where this is moving in space. It's almost like he's making this like circle in space in this way. And it's primarily done with what? My ribs. Ribbies, ribs. baby. Yeah, yep. so you're not cheating and showing like a bunch of crazy like arm stuff. Yeah, nope. exactly, or like moving the ball around with your hands. Nope. All done with the ribs, yep. which is freaking sexy. It feels good. You're pretty sexy, dude. Okay, so. <laughs> Let's look, let's look at this like in a different perspective as well, because what you were talking about is how we motor the center of mass of the club. Like if this is a golf club, mm -hmm. center of mass is down here. Yep. Go ahead and set up with that ball again. Okay. And let's do it from face on. I think it'll be easier to see. This PVC pipe is kind of indicative of Jackson's midline. See how it's vertical right now? The axis of his, of his elbows would look just like this. So in essence, go ahead and start moving. See, see the difference in how steep that just got? Mm -hmm. Okay, now show right here, just you spiraling that ball. Go back to neutral for me. Okay, slow motion, start spiraling the ball. That's now perpendicular to where Jack, Jackson's elbows are. Now go the other way. Look at where the center mass just went. It fell. So this whole idea of shallowing 
you can shallow it like six ways to Sunday. Like mm -hmm. there's a ton of different ways to do it. But if we are breaking the structure of how we set up with the golf club, like structure of the, the golf club, my hands and my arms, if I'm breaking that, dude, it's, it's really difficult to recover super it. Super hard. Now you super gotta use hard. all your hands. Exactly. So do me a favor here. Let's see what this looks like. I'm just general. And to, to be honest, like J Jackson's like, he's one of our best movement coaches, really. Best sacrum move in the academy when it comes to, to, to just general movement and all, all the Thank coaches you, that we have. Absolutely. Okay, so when he does this, like you'll see his, his play in the ribs and what it does to affect the center of mass. So again, you're not doing anything. Show, show cheating just with the hands, okay? So we're not Gary Sheffield here. Nope. Okay, instead we're gonna go Barry Bonds. Do this in slow-mo. Boom, great. Now go ahead and start changing direction and just keep it moving, but do it in slow motion. And you'll see how the center of mass, the hub, which is the point right where his hands connect, all is playing, but the, the shaft of the golf club is always perpendicular. Go ahead and go back to neutral for me. Is always perpendicular to this. See how the shaft and the axis of his elbows, if you start slow-mo moving, stays perpendicular. Yep. Okay, keep moving. Oh, look how cool that is. So it's all done in the ribs. All done in the ribs. All done in the ribs, which is great. And that's the main shallower. So go ahead and set up for us again. Good ball here. <clears throat> great, and if you can, Jackson, just show us one to the top, just a P4 position. Great. See how tall the shaft is there? Go ahead and set up again. Let's actually just go to P3, which is kind of our idea of what the end of the backswing would be. So P3, lead arm is level. Now, as you bounce, so right now, heavy lead lateral bend, mm -hmm. okay? As you bounce from P3 up through P4 to P5, go ahead and show that same, same shape with the ribs. There you go. Look at the difference and now how, how leveled out the center mass of the golf club went behind you primarily because now you traded, you're in trail lateral bend yep. instead of lead lateral. So stay right there. If you just turned to set the golf club behind the ball, boom, there's impact. And it's square. That's so cool. Okay, yeah. so let's do this. Go ahead and hit us one with this same idea of spiral in the ribs, spiral in the golf club, spiral in the medicine ball, however you want to mm -hmm. term it. That's the, that's the picture in your mind, okay. but kind of a slow-mo one. Okay. And what we'll do is, for, for folks to see this, we'll just slow you down and show how you're moving in that transitional period from like P3 okay. to P5. But nice amount of play in those ribs as you're doing that. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and just tap one in there. You got six iron, hit six iron, like 140. Beautiful. So, so cool. Stable. Stable. And what's nice, like, when people go like generally athletics, mm -hmm. it's like a stupid term sometimes, right? right? Show me an athletic golf swing. You're like, what the heck does that mean? Right. Yeah, right. <laughs> you're like, I guess. Yeah. Athletics is just like one, it's dynamic. And two, it's like super sensory. Like the picture that I have in yes. my mind, like right there, you have a picture of like what you're doing in here to motor the ball, motor the golf club, motor your elbows, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. It's yours, but it's sensory. You have a picture in your mind exactly, and you can feel it. You sense it, the feel of it. Right? Yep. What are my ribs doing in space to motor that around? And you just get heightened. And it should, like, especially for good athletes like you, you make that golf swing, you should immediately go like, oh, dude, that felt so good. So good. Feels nice. Oh, yes. Right? Feels very nice. Feels very nice. Exactly. Okay. So let's show a couple of exercises too. And I don't even know if you know this one, uh, Jackson, but have we ever talked about the figure eight drill? This exercise, I'll just show you this. So again, if we, have, if we have this here, this is just generally uh, like boat drill for us. If you were holding onto the medicine ball, we'd be right here, so it looks very yep. similar. If I had the golf club down here and I'm starting to motor the club, in essence, the center of mass of the club is making the shape ah. of a figure eight. Okay, so we can feel like where the golf club's exiting, how it's transitioning, how it exit over here, how it transitioned on the other side. So we're just making this movement, and then eventually, once you feel it, boom, hit. Show us one of those. Okay. From really nice setup, and then from there, hover, and in your mind, you're just making, there you go. So you're motoring the center of mass of the club, 
The only thing that I'd like to see go right in here and freeze. Good. So the center of mass now is going to exit, and because of the ribs, control the center of mass feel it loop here. Yep. To go there, there's the loop here. Now it's exit loop. Feel where it's at? Yep. Up. Keep it going now. Yeah. So you're motoring the center of mass around in space, primarily again from the ribs. From the Once ribs. you feel that, feel free to go ahead and just chip one into the screen. Cool. So now, like was that heavy, thin, perfect? What was heavy. that? Heavy. Yep. So let's just move the center of mass uh, of the ribs forward to okay. control where the bottom out is a okay. bit. Just move the bottom out forward. Same exercise. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Beautiful shapes. Beautiful. So kind of a fun drill. Yeah. Because again, athletics, it's dynamic, it's moving, it's playful. But also that sensory aspect where yeah. there's that. It's Absolutely. not even just here. It's like I can feel weight of the club all the way around. So now it becomes this like really holistic experience. Mm -hmm. The super holistic experience is like you can feel what the strike is like before you even hit it. So it's, it's like, just... yeah, I've got result because I'm yeah. flushing out the ball. I feel where the club is. I know what my body's doing to support that. It's just like, that's why I think uh, tour players have a really difficult time describing what they're experiencing in their golf swing. Like if you go, hey, Justin Rose or Rory or DJ, like. They'll feel different. What do you feel in your swing? And they're like, what is, uh, they can't like get it out. Because right. it's so big. It's this huge holistic thing mm -hmm. that they're, again, it's they're sensing. It's really difficult to articulate. It's it's extremely difficult. I mean, I <laughs> yeah. struggle so much just describing it to the kids, what I feel, because it's like I feel completely different than, and exactly. it's, like you said. And I think that's our job, right, is to, like, identify that person. How do I put myself in them? What are they mm -hmm. thinking? What are they seeing? What are they feeling? So that now I can have the experience because I'm in you mm -hmm. in a way and go, okay, boom, this is what we need to do different rabbit hole. But <laughs> these exercises are really, really good ones for understanding the ribs roll yes. and how it motors the center of masses around. Because yes. the ribs, what we feel in here, can be a, play a massive role in, in T-spine bend, this lateral bend, right? There's rotation in that, because obviously mm -hmm. the ribs are like massively involved with rotation. And we just talked about it here, like pushing the divot forward mm -hmm is all because of lateral movement in the center of mass of the ribs. All. And that's really what the ribs do, is they do those three things. Lateral, then we have lateral bend, mm -hmm. and rotation. If you're able to manage that, man, it's so much easier to motor the golf ball. Oh, it's around. so easy. Okay, perfect. Okay, last thing. Um, to make this like a really fun, holistic experience, just drill-wise, let's see three shots, and we'll just call them your ones, twos, and threes. So, and that's just energy level. Okay. So I've got this medicine ball here and I'm moving it at a one, it's passive. Yep. Two is more energy in the ribs and three is like big waves, big wave, big okay. wave. And that's gonna also leak into the golf club. Okay. Okay, so let's do some figure eights above it, what feels like a one, okay. and then you can set up to the ball and show what a one feels like from, from actual setup. Okay. Okay. Boom, now we're hover, one, Super passive, feel that energy. Good, now go ahead and set up to the ball. Go, one. Beautiful. Just didn't manage divot. But. Okay. And yeah, it was kind of fun, again, slightly heavy, so we can yeah. just move the divot move forward. Move the divot forward. Okay, show me a uh, hover figure eight drill again. Two. Beautiful. Woof. Woof. Excellent, go ahead and set up to it. Okay, let's move the divot forward. Same energy, two. Beautiful, that was freaking good. See how easy that is too? It's like- So easy. Just move the freaking divot for a big forward. deal. Okay. Flush it out. Now show big wave, three. <laughs> Beautiful, okay, let's go ahead and set up. Same figure eight, three. <laughs> Beautiful. And you gotta be able to do that if you're gonna play golf at a high level. Oh yeah. Manage energy. Have manage to. how far you throw it, manage trajectory, it does all that stuff. Oh, and I see it so much in the wedges too. It's, exactly. I used to be this, pop it up, yep. not going anywhere, rip it back. Now it's That's lasers. a really good point too, because now you can feel the same, like I'm motoring the center of mass because of the ribs, but now I can really control the ball. Oh, and yeah. wedges might feel like they're ones, 
mid irons are kind of twos, drivers three, mm -hmm. but it's the same system, just with different energies. You oh, command yeah. your ball at that super high level and you're moving the instrument as it's designed yes. very efficiently. Very efficient. Okay, ribs. Whoop, whoop. Mm -hmm. Move the center of mass based on how you're moving the ribs. Super fun. Jackson Wary, ladies and gentlemen. Flush them it's out. It's been a pleasure.